Well, more reports of the effects of COVID on pregnant women and their babies. The latest study funded by the National Institutes of Health reveals increased detrimental risks. Dr. Mimi Munn is a maternal fetal medicine physician with USA Health. She's here with us this afternoon. Thank you for being here. Dr. Munn, being pregnant during a pandemic can be stressful. This is not what mothers to be want to hear. I have a seven month old so I can empathize, but important to know that research shows a greater risk of fetal or newborn death for babies when the mother has COVID. Dr. Munn, is that the case even in mothers who don't have a severe case of the virus? Um, yeah, thanks for having me on to talk about this very important study. Um, luckily, it looks like mothers with, with sort of asymptomatic or mild disease don't seem to have nearly the trouble with the complications or the death of the newborn. So not so much mild um, disease, but certainly the, the severe disease, uh, definitely an increased risk for, for um, uh, fetal demise and neonatal death. What is it about a coronavirus infection that increases the risk? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure that that uh, it's at all clear, you know, what uh, what seems to be going on with the, the increased severity in pregnancy. You know, this particular study looked at, uh, you know, the relationship to known complications of pregnancy like hypertension, postpartum hemorrhage, infection, and it seemed to make these disorders worse resulting in worse outcomes for moms um, and uh, and oftentimes babies. So, uh, you know, the exact pathophysiology, I think, is not at all clear. Um, um, and we'll certainly be, be learning more things in the future. OK, so how much higher is the death risk for the pregnant mother? Um, yeah, so we know that that from uh, earlier studies looking at at um, pregnant women versus you know non pregnant women, that the, there's certainly an increased risk for death. Um, you know, in this particular uh, uh, study, they were, were looking at the complications um, and it was a, a certainly a, a, um, a couple fold risk higher. Death, of course, the extreme, but other issues could arise if a woman gets COVID while pregnant. Dr. Mon, you touched on this, but a little more going into the preterm labor and C-section aspect of it all. Right, right, right. And again, this, that's what this particular study addressed was, um, you know, those sorts of complications uh, that we normally see in pregnancy, like uh, preeclampsia, preterm labor. Uh, there was certainly an increased risk for that. Lots of uh, babies delivered preterm. Um, and we think most of these were probably, uh, you know, indicated preterm births because the mothers were getting so sick. When I was pregnant, I did everything possible to stay away from everyone to protect my baby. I know all the moms watching saying, yep, doing the same thing. What do you recommend, Dr. Munn? Yeah, so certainly we're, we endorse what uh, the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine and the American College of OBGYN endorses, and that's for all the moms to get vaccinated is, is your best bet uh, to decrease your chance of having severe disease and, and uh, uh, resulting in these complications. So definitely get your vaccine. Now we do what we can, everything we can to protect them while they're in our bellies, but at some point they'll be here, they will be newborns, and we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Dr. Mon, babies can't get vaccinated for COVID or against COVID, so what about them? Right, right. So again, you know, we, we have encouraging data from uh, uh, studies that have looked at mothers getting the vaccine and there is, you know, antibody passed to the baby which we are very optimistic that this will confer some sort of immunity to the baby, as well as breastfeeding. You know, exciting news there as well with passing on uh, antibody to the baby, which, which can be protective as well. Okay, Dr. Munn, we appreciate your time once again. Thanks for being here.